Hey guys, it's Max from Briscoe Hockey Training here. So I know uh, a lot of you guys are probably coming from TikTok watching this video, so I just wanted to quickly uh, say I thank you guys for the support over there, and I know you guys have been asking for this uh, YouTube channel for a long time. Right off the bat, I just want to get into it of what we're going to be covering today, and that is, um, I think, a very important part of being a dominant hockey player, being the best player in the league, something along those lines, is uh, being an amazing skater. I think oftentimes, as silly as it is, skating is overlooked in hockey. People don't realize how much of a benefit it is to actually be able to be a good skater. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at one of the best skaters in the game, in my opinion, Sidney Crosby. The guy not only is a complete genius, but is one of the best moving players on the ice for sure. And I think in the future we'll be looking at other um, players' play styles because not everybody plays the same. There's taller players, there's shorter players, so I think it's important to do it for every type of player there is. So with that being said, now that you guys know why I'm making this video, let's go ahead and let's jump right All into right, it. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into the pictures and look at the uh, mechanics of an NHL or skating. Skating like an NHLer is an absolutely essential part to becoming the best player on your team or the best player in a league. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. If you want to get better, you have to be a good skater. So first thing I want to point out off the bat, I'm just going to call this uh, his attacking position. Let's look at his stance, all right? First of all, I just want to mention how low he is to the ice. You can see that uh, Crosby has a strong base right now, all right? A lot of players, um, just pretend the red lines, you know, our legs. A lot of players will stand in a position like this. They don't have that wide base. So you can see there's not a lot of distance here. But if you'll notice in this clip, one, we have our knees bent, all right? So this is an attacking uh, position with the puck. And you can see our hand position on the stick, all right? It's up higher. I don't know how well you can see it in the video here, but you can see his bottom hand actually isn't gripping the stick too hard. And that's for a very specific reason. And that's because this hand needs to be able to move uh, up and down. Because depending on the different type of plays you have in hockey, you need to have your hands in different positions. So um, a lot of the stick work is being controlled by this top hand. So now that you guys understand that premise, uh, it's time to point out uh, the leg position and the chest position. So so Sidney Crosby's a left-handed player, so we're going to be uh, talking about his right arm here, but it applies if you're a righty, it would just be uh, corresponding to this side of your body, your left arm. So you can see that he has his top hand in an angular position here. It's in a ready position. He's ready to make any movement with that top hand, and he's got his bottom hand nice and fluid, nice and ready to move up and down to change to the situation. And the most important thing, all right, is he is looking where he's going, okay? So you can see he's looking forward, he's analyzing the play, he knows what's going on. So when we draw this whole position out, you can see Crosby's got a really strong base right now. His shoulders are nice and square to the play. He's nice and relaxed, but he's also ready to be able to make any movement because of the hand position we talked about. So this kind of stance, if you could visualize yourself skating in that stance that's pretty much what you want to be skating like when you have the puck and you're not in stride so to recap the reason this is a really good hockey stance is because one we have that strong base two our hips are nice and level we can move around with uh, lots of freedom three we have our strength points right here so the angular um, shape with our dominant hand and the loose shape with our bottom hand and lastly, we have our head analyzing the play, looking up, looking forward. Now, say we're in an attacking position like this. All right, so I just want you guys to pay attention to one, how low his body is here. Okay, so you can really see his body extending and getting his uh, inner knee up all the way. And I made a video on my TikTok page a couple days ago where I talked about your body needed to be able to move and you needed to be able to have your toes touch the ice. And you can see that in this clip right here, his toes are pretty much nicking the ice. So just like the last photo we analyzed, it's pretty much the same stance, all right? We have our loose bottom hand, we have that angular um, you know, shape on the dominant hand, but when we're really pushing through the ice, right? We're getting that skate started, we're moving up the ice, we are extending our leg fully and really getting that edge to cut into the ice and we're picking up our other leg and making a really sharp triangular shape with our knee 
and we're allowing our toe to touch the ice. All right, so now let's look at a crossover. So in this instance, this would be a right foot over left foot crossover. So this is actually at the beginning portion of him skating. So one, I just want you guys to see, this is a more relaxed position that he's in. All right, so the angle isn't that severe. We're at an angle of something like this. But one most important thing, we have our head up here, all right? We're looking towards the play. We're analyzing what we see in front of us. This was most likely on a breakout of some sort, him uh, receiving the puck in the middle of the ice. So he's looking towards probably um, the blue line that he's skating towards, seeing where his forwards are. But then again, what we just talked about, we've got that leg that's pushing off of the stride, extending all the way. And then the inside leg, making that triangular shape with the knee. And you can see the blade cutting into the ice. So again, the key to skating like an NHLer here is that we have that strong base and we have our hands in this position, the dominant hand in that strong triangular shape, the bottom hand in that loose kind of ready to be able to um, maneuver at any point and we have our head up once again. So you guys are probably starting to recognize a pattern here. So let's analyze another situation. This is a more intense situation. This is, you know, I don't know, maybe a turnover or something like that, or maybe he's receiving a pass in the slot. Really low base. This particular image, he has a very low base, but look guys, repetitive pattern, that same strong triangle on that uh, inside leg. He's got the uh, arm in the ready position, the dominant position. This particular instance, his hand is a little bit uh, lower on the stick, probably because he's receiving a pass or something like that. So you can see he's got his hand lower. I'm going to show you guys actually refer back to one of the other images. Look at how far away his hands are in this image because this is a ready position. This is he is uh, a pass is coming or he's about to shoot the puck a one time or something along those lines. You can see his hands are ready to generate flex on that stick and really whip that shot whatever it may be. But in this right here, this is a more relaxed skating position. This is a, you're breaking the puck up the ice. You're just scanning what's going on. Um, you have your hands ready to make a backhand pass, forehand pass, sauce pass, whatever it is. You don't need your hands in a super tense position far apart from each other. The reason you have your hands far apart like this is just for more sturdiness. It gives you more balance. But hands in this type of position that are, you know, less, I want to say, tense is because you want more fluidness. You want to be able to move freely. Even in this image up here, you can see his hands are pretty far away apart from each other. So that's the distance that they are apart in this clip. And in this clip, that's the distance that they are far apart from each other, if that makes sense. This is an entry into the zone. He needs to be able to make a quick adjustment or a quick maneuver or, you know, quick direction change. And having those hands higher allows you to move more freely and be able to do that. So now a clip like this, this is another right foot over left foot crossover. So he's really got that bottom leg leaning. All right, you can see the angle is much more severe at uh, this clip. So again, we've got that knee getting up all the way like we talked about in this image right here. And he's got that waist angle. He's really extending off of this right here. You can see his hands are very far apart because if you look here in this clip, the puck is actually right here. So he hasn't scanned the play yet, but once he turns his head, all right, and looks off in this direction, this backhand pass is probably coming through here. So he's got his hands nice and low. He's in his crossover position. All right, so there's our shoulder angle. We have the um, strong top hand angle, strong bottom hand angle. So once Crosby turns his head and he scans this breakout pass from his defender, because this is going to be coming up this way, all he's got to do is plant his stick on the ice and he's in a fluid movement to be able to catch that pass on the backhand and continue forward up the ice without losing too much momentum. So now here's another example. This is actually a left foot over right foot crossover, but same thing again. We've got that really intense angle that you guys can see right there and his knees getting up all the way. 
Uh, his toe isn't necessarily touching the ice in this one because he's mid crossover. What I want you guys to notice in this clip is actually the hand position and the head position. So this is a strong side entry for him. So we would be on the left side of the ice because he's a lefty. So one, he's scanning the player, right? He's looking at whatever's going on. We can see his body angle, but if you look right here, he's got the puck loaded on the heel of his blade or like right in the middle, wherever the most, um, I want to say concave part of the curve is on his stick. Um, he's got the puck loaded, ready to make a forehand pass that's going to be strong. And as we talked about, guys, his hand position, it's pretty much almost nothing. They're almost really uh, close together. And that's because it's got to allow for movement. He's either going to carry this thing. If he carries this thing, his hand's going to move up here. If he wants to make a forehand pass, he's going to slide it down a little bit. If he wants to make a shot, he's going to slide it down a little bit. So guys, that's why it's really important that you have your bottom hand loose and you control the stick with your top hand. But again, just covering more things that we talked about, level shoulders, got that angular uh, shape on his top hand, and he's got that nice, loose, relaxed shape on his bottom hand. So now this image is actually very different from the ones that we've uh, analyzed so far. This is a sharp turn or a generation for momentum coming up the ice like almost like a center swinging off of a breakout this is where nhl skating really comes into play and where you're really going to make a difference in your ability to move around the ice because this is a very very aggressive angle you can see even more than that it's more like this you can just see how low he is to the ice I mean, this distance, the knee to the ice distance is really low right there. And the, the whole reason you want to get that low is because you can see um, the blades are just really cutting into the ice. So now uh, this is the last image I want to cover before we watch him uh, skate around and you see how he moves uh, about uh, everything we just explained about. This is the same kind of thing we're talking about. His feet are a little bit farther apart in this image and that's actually kind of a good thing in this particular example. So if you're gliding, it's actually kind of cool. You can see this guy in the background. I don't know how well you can see him in the video, but he is actually in the middle of a crossover. So you can see his feet are close together because he's trying to generate that speed. But Sidney Crosby in this picture is not crossing over. He's gliding, all right? So he's been, uh, he's probably come up from this direction, all right? He's gliding around towards this side of the ice. So you can see he gets lower by separating his feet and gliding on those inside edges and he's got his stick in a ready position and he's got his uh, bottom hand high on the stick like we talked about he's got his dominant hand ready to control his stick and he's on that angle that we've talked about he's got his eyes reading the play so now all he has to do is take one look towards the center of the ice all right so a quick peek towards the center of the ice see where the defenders are and now he can receive a pass on his backhand and make it all one motion without having to open up, turn around, all these other extravagant things that we could do. A stance of this shape is very important for receiving a backhand pass in motion. All right, so now that we've seen a lot of pictures and I broke it down for you guys of how exactly he's skating, let's go ahead and let's jump right into watching some clips. All right, so here we go, some more clips. You can just see the stance that we've talked about, all right? I really just want you guys to pay attention to the angle at which they skate and where they hold their hand position. Uh, these are all things I've been repeating, but you know, I'm just trying to fill in the voice for the video so you guys have something to listen to while you're watching him skate. But you can see uh, the minor hand adjustments, minor feet adjustment, uh, the base adjustments, pretty much everything. These are all NHLers out on this ice right now. You can see, um, how important it is to be a good skater and be a fluid skater so really attacking the net there getting nice and low right here is a great example rolling off the um the pick that was set up again really strong passes really strong base he's got his hands nice and high there because it's an in tight shot same thing there quick release his hands nice and high quick adjustment down low flick it upstairs so right here, you can see his movement, all the things we talked about, really intense angle, high hand position because it's a uh, more quick shot that he's trying to get off. So right here's a great example to see the hand position in the base of uh, how an NHLer shoots. 
So all what we talked about, they're all in that stance that we talked about, and you can see the bottom hand adjustment. So you can see his hand starts higher, switches down lower, and then a shot. Right here, you'll probably see it again. Yep, starts high, goes down low, into the shot. And again, they've got that Y shape in their legs. They've got that strong base. Their chest is facing forward. Their head is up. They're really leaning into that shot, dropping that bottom leg. That was a uh, inside foot shot. So right there, you can see it drops that uh, leg, gets that toe scraping along the ice. Same thing there again. All uh, fundamental stuff right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you learned something. Be sure to leave in the comments below any players that you'd like to see me do next, any um, particular videos that you'd like me to make. And lastly, just uh, one more thank you for everybody that came from TikTok over this YouTube page. And if you aren't from TikTok, go ahead and check it out. It's at Max underscore Briscoe. That's Max underscore Briscoe with one X. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.